This is another Panda Express takeout favorite. I'm Tess, and tonight I will show you how to make a homemade copycat Panda Express black pepper chicken. It's easy, and it tastes just like takeout. Stay tuned. This Panda Express copycat recipe is simple with few ingredients, and it tastes just like Panda Express black pepper chicken. Now you can make this delicious, spicy, Chinese-inspired chicken dinner at home. First, the Panda Express recipe for black pepper chicken requires chili vinegar. It is an ingredient I probably will only use for this recipe, so instead of purchasing a product, I will make my own. And it's real simple. I have a half a cup of white vinegar, and I'm adding a seeded red chili pepper. Bringing this up to a boil and simmering for about 15 seconds, and then removing from the heat and cooling to room temperature. We are simply giving a little back heat to the vinegar. For the chicken, I have one pound of small sliced boneless chicken thighs. You can see there's still a little bit of fat. You can use boneless chicken breasts, but the thighs will give you the most flavor. I'm adding a half a tablespoon of the chili vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and two tablespoons of cornstarch, giving that a good mix and marinating for 30 minutes. The coarse ground black pepper is the spicy attraction of this black pepper chicken recipe. This copycat recipe calls for one to one and a half tablespoons of coarse black pepper. It is a must that you grind fresh black pepper. If you use black pepper that is already pre-ground, the taste will not be the same and the pepper will be overpowering. I take one and a half tablespoons of whole black peppercorns and grind until I get a coarse texture. You could also put the peppercorns in a Ziploc bag and lightly pound with a rolling pin or small pan. You want varying sizes from small to larger pieces of the peppercorn. The chicken is done marinating. I'm using my wok tonight, but you can use any pan. There are a couple keys to cooking the chicken and having it not stick. You want the pan or wok very hot before adding the oil. Turn your heat up to high. Don't be afraid to add enough oil. You want enough to coat the bottom of the pan, and if using a wok, pour the oil around the upper rim to coat the sides. And finally, add the chicken and spread out as best you can. Let the chicken cook for about 20 seconds before stirring. This will help produce a nice crust and prevent sticking. Spread the chicken out again, let it cook for a bit, and then stir. If you don't have your heat on high, or if you have too much chicken in the pan, you'll end up with a soupy mess. If you have a good bit of chicken to cook, you may want to cook in batches. Cooking and stirring the chicken for about 5 to 7 minutes, or until the chicken is done, and then removing from the pan. In the same pan on high heat, I'm adding in a little more oil, one small diced onion, and two to three stalks of celery that is sliced thin and on a bias. I'm only going to cook these for one minute and no longer. You want to leave a good bit of crunch. With the heat and spicy of the black pepper, the celery is a great combination adding the sweet, crunch, and pop of brightness to this dish. Adding the chicken and all the juices back into the pan, stirring to combine. This is a half a tablespoon of the chili vinegar and two tablespoons of soy sauce, giving that a quick toss to coat. Now for the highlight. I'm adding in one and a quarter tablespoons of the fresh ground black pepper. You can add the amount to your taste. Cooking and stirring for another 30 seconds and it's ready to eat. I love the smell of the zesty black pepper. This copycat Panda Express black pepper chicken recipe is simple, easy, and delicious. Tastes just like Panda Express takeout. I also have recipe videos for Copycat Panda Express Orange Chicken and Panda Express Chicken and Mushrooms. If you have a chance, please check them out.
The chicken is so tender and the onions and celery add a nice combination and texture. The fresh ground black pepper is so zesty and tasty. It is addicting. I hope you give this Copycat Panda Express black pepper chicken recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!